okay, we are inside the After Effects now, so I'm going to just uh, navigate to all the files that we just uh, put out. I'm going to select all the haze ones, import them. Double click again, I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to get my Hero Cloud uh, animation. Import it. I imported the whole animation here. Double click again, desktop and the bed import you should have uh, really rendered a couple of uh, more beds or more frames so let's start with the uh, hero shot we just uh, drag it over here make a new composition out of it so uh, this is my hero shot right here you don't need uh, the animation i'm just using it uh, in case you want uh, more than one frame so I'm just going to pick a frame and I'm going to freeze it right now. So I'm going to just, let's say I'm going to keep this frame here. I'm going to select my uh, solid, right click on it, go to time, and freeze frame. And now that's all I got, I get just one frame, okay? Now I'm going to add my uh, bed. I'm going to start by putting it on top. As you can see, we are running into a problem. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to try to match the colors of these two here. And the reason why they are uh, two different uh, colors, because uh, the simulation of this cloud here is not uh, the same one that I did last week. It's a different simulation because uh, I deleted uh, the one that has these colors by mistake. So now I have to try to remap uh, uh, more color data between the two here. So I'm gonna start with my uh, hero cloud here i'm gonna right click color correction and i'm gonna select uh, the color balance here i'm gonna go to the highlight uh, red balance here i'm gonna just push it down i'm not gonna go too far i think minus 70 that's good enough so giving me a little bit of bluish on it i'm gonna go to my bed now and i'm gonna just try to lower the blue on uh on this layer so i'm gonna right click color correction color correction color correction and go to let's see what we need let's choose curves i'm gonna choose the blue channel actually i'm gonna choose the red channel and i'm gonna push the red channel up close we can push it down just a bit okay i think that's good enough so well with this uh setup now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just uh, make a duplicate of my, of my uh, the bed cloud here so i'm gonna just press ctrl plus d and uh, this duplicate here i'm gonna just push it uh, behind our hero cloud and I'm going to click S to enable the scale. I'm going to just uh, uh, turn off the constraint here. And I'm going to turn this one here to minus 100. So we basically, I'm flipping it. I'm going to click W or V. Let's push it up. Actually, I'm going to select the bed cloud, the first one, and push it down. Okay. Now, with this two selected here, as you can see, we are getting close to the the final image that we saw. But I'm actually going to try to push it further. I'm going to try to make a, an animation, like a simple animation using our cameras. And for, uh, I'm going to add another bed cloud here. Actually, I'm going to select the back one. I'm going to click Ctrl plus D. And I'm going to push it all the way to the front here. Okay, I'm gonna push it down. I'm gonna scale it up just, just a little bit. I'm gonna push it down. Okay. Now let's uh, apply our uh, haze. So I'm gonna select, uh, so I have these hazes. 
three. So I'm going to just bring them, put one up front. As you can see, it's barely visible. I'm going to put the second right here between uh, the hero cloud and uh, the bed. And for the third, I'm going to put it all the way in the back. So that's what I get right now with uh, these three selected right here. Could uh, select all of them. Select this one. I'm going to go to the effect. I'm going to add a little bit of blue on top of them. So I'm going to right click. Mm, what is it? Box blur. And just a little bit of blur, not too much. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna just create a background. So I'm gonna click Ctrl plus Y. Click OK. I'm gonna push it all the way to the back. I'm gonna apply gradient. Just gradient ramp, just drag uh, the effect, put it on my uh, solid. I'm going to set uh, the end color to a light blue. Okay, and for the star color, I'm going to set it to a dark blue. Okay. Let's go to the back here. Let's select my uh, end color. I'm going to push it down. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we continue. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just change the work in the color of this big cloud more. So let's, I'm going to just add the uh, color correction, curves. Okay. I'm trying just to push more of the details out of this cloud. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, I like that. This is better, I think. Okay. Now I'm going to select uh, everything. Actually, I'm going to select this hair cloud again. I'm going to add a just tiny bit of blur on top of it. So I'm going to blur and sharpen. Box blur and set it to this point one. Okay, it's very noticeable. I think it's not noticeable at all. So let's set it to point three. Yeah, especially with the edges here. That's good enough. Uh, now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add added more haze up front here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just select the back haze here. I'm gonna control plus D and push it all the way up front. And I'm gonna click uh, R and I'm gonna just rotate it 180 degree. Okay. So this will give us uh, more haze up front. I'm going to select my back uh, black solid here. I'm going to try to change back color. Okay.
Okay, like that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just add the vignette on top of everything. So I'm gonna click Ctrl plus Y. And I'm gonna select the circle, or the ellipse tool, double click on it. Inverted. Uh, feather the mask. And mask, exp uh, mask expansion. Okay. So that's what we get so far. So I'm gonna select uh, our hero cloud here. I'm gonna copy all my effects here. I'm gonna click Ctrl plus C. I'm gonna go to the project folder. And I'm gonna put my hero cloud back here. And Ctrl V. Now for this one, it should be animated. So, okay, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move it to the side. I'm gonna click uh, position here. Move it right here. Let's see. Let's see what I want. What frame I want. I think I like this frame right there. I think I like it. So I'm gonna just freeze it. 